In this video, I will show you how to create multiple dependent dropdown on multiple rows without any helper sheet or any script. For example, I have this dropdown table and the goal is to create a fully dynamic multi rows dependent dropdown. If I click here and simply select Asia, it will show me all of related country based on my dropdown table and I can easily select the city based on my dropdown table. If I click here and simply select North America, it will show me all of the country related to North America and also it will show me the matching city based on my drop down table. Now again, if I change this Asia to let's say South America, it will show me all of the country related to South America and also it will show me related city based on my selected country. So how we can create this amazing drop down in Google Sheet, I will show you each and everything in this video. Consider I have this single sheet on which I have all of the drop down list present. The first thing we need to insert a new worksheet and for now I will simply rename this sheet let's say input. Now I will click on insert, we need to insert a blank table here, simply click on table here you can see blank table and simply insert. The next thing we need to rename our table, I will click on table menu and here you can see rename table. For now I will rename this table let's say input. Next I will rename my column properly, so I will click on column 1 and simply type let's say date. Now click on this down arrow key here you can see edit column type in this case I will simply choose the date format. Our next column will be let's say continent. Now I will click on this down arrow key and here you can see edit column type I will click drop down and for the criteria I will click on this drop down again here you can see drop down from a range. Select data range, click here, go to drop down table. In this case, I will click on A2, simply drag the mouse down, remove the end reference, hit OK, and simply hit done button. This is how I create a first level drop down. The next thing we need to create our second level and third level drop down. For now, I will simply rename this column, let's say country. And I will give you a very easy formula for this column. If I go to my text file, I have this simple formula. I will simply hit Ctrl C to copy. Go to my Google Sheet, double click Ctrl V and this is the entire formula. In this formula, you can see we have B2, C2 and D2. These are only reference based on your dependent dropdown. Now, if your column position are changed, you just need to update these reference. For now, I will simply hit enter and I will simply accept the suggestion and this will apply the formula in my entire table. Now, if I change my Africa to let's say Asia, our timestamp will be updated. If I select let's say a new entry Europe, it will show me the updated timestamp and now you can see the other timestamp are static. I will go to drop down table and here we need to develop a very easy XLOOKUP formula. XLOOKUP what is the lookup value? In this case, I will define a large value, for example, one leg, hit comma. What are the lookup range? I will go to my input sheet and I want to look up my value in entire column E, hit comma, and I want to return the value from entire continent column hit comma and now if I click on plus button here you can see for missing value I will simply skip this parameter and for match mode in this case I will simply define minus 1. You can see here minus 1 for exact match or next value that is lower than the search key. So I will simply write minus 1 close parenthesis hit enter and this is how we extract the most recent record. Now if I go to my input table and if I simply add another record, let's say North America, my drop down table will show you the most recent record. And if I go to my input tab again, instead of Asia, I select Africa and now if I go to drop down table, it will show me Africa because Africa is the most recent record. Now things are very simple. I will click on E to seal and simply type filter function, open parenthesis. What are the range? I want to filter out all of the country from column B, hit comma. Whenever column A equal to, simply click on E1. 
close parenthesis hit enter and this is how we extract all of the country based on our most recent record now i will go to my input tab again click on this down arrow key edit column type here you can see drop down in the criteria simply choose drop down from a range select data range click here go to drop down table click on e2 drag the mouse down and simply remove the end reference hit ok now my country drop down is ready and if i select let's say africa it will show me all of the country related to africa if i choose asia it will show me all of the country related to asia if i choose let's say europe it will show me all of the country related to europe in the same way we need to create the city drop down so i will click on drop down table and here we need to apply another xlookup I think if I simply copy this XLOOKUP, hit Ctrl C, double click on F1, hit Ctrl V. Instead of column B, I want to bring column C data. And now I will build another filter function. Open parenthesis, what are the range? I want to bring all of this CT, hit comma, whenever country equal to, click on F1, close parenthesis, hit enter. Now I will go to my input tab again. Click on this down arrow button, edit column type, here you can see drop down, drop down from a range, select data range, click here, drop down table, in this case I will click on F2, drag the mouse down and simply remove the end reference, hit OK and simply hit done button. Now if I select continent, for example I select North America, it will show me all of the country related to North America as well as the matching city as well. If I select let's say Asia and I select China for example, it will show me all of the city related to China. And if I leave some blank row and I select for example option here South America, it will show me all of the country related to South America and also the matching city as well. So this is how we create our dependent drop down. Now we don't need these extra column. I will delete column 6 for now and simply click on column E, right click and if you want simply hide this column. I hope you learned something useful and enjoyed this video. If you like the video, please subscribe my channel for more video. If you have any specific question, just write me comment and I will answer as soon as possible. Thank you so much.